So hi guys and welcome. In this video, I will talk about some key points in becoming a data analyst. To be precise, I will address the following questions. Why should I become a data analyst? What does a data analyst do? What sort of preparation do I need to become a data analyst? And how do I stay ahead of the game once I am a data analyst? So what gives me the authority to speak on this topic? Well, firstly, I'm a data analyst and more importantly, I enjoy being one. Secondly, I worked in multiple domains such as telecom, finance, and more recently, healthcare. This diversity comes with some interesting perspectives which I wish to share in this video. Lastly, I am a lifelong learner. I have seen how this field has evolved and I keep myself updated and upskill on latest technologies. This gives me an edge while talking about this subject. Okay, that said, let's now tackle the first question. Why should you consider becoming a data analyst? Now, at this point, let's pause for a moment. There are just too many job titles in this area. Data engineer, data analyst, business intelligence analyst, data scientist, machine learning engineer, big data engineer, to name but a few. The other problem is that the responsibilities under each title are often not well defined. So in some cities of the world, you may be called a data scientist, but your work may involve more of data engineering, for example. But let's not get overwhelmed by terminology at this stage and focus on the generally accepted tasks of a data analyst. Now, a quick search could give you hundreds of articles and surveys saying that data analysts are in great demand and these are jobs of the future. Now, all this is good, but let's do something more practical. Let's log into LinkedIn, go to the Jobs tab and search for all data analyst jobs posted in the last week worldwide. So we have this figure. Now, let's compare this with another job profile, say technical trainer. Okay, now this puts things into perspective. I find this a useful experiment. Try it out with different job profiles in different cities. So as you can see, it's pretty evident that this is an in-demand job profile and there are no surprises there. Now let's focus on the next question. What does a data analyst do? I'm going to break this response into a few parts. The first thing is the data you analyze and the domain this data belongs to. As a data analyst, you will work on data and the data will belong to a particular domain. So for example, you could work on data from an e-commerce firm or company like Netflix, or data belonging to a telecom operator, or a bank, or a healthcare company. So we have the data on one side and the domain on the other side. It's very important for you that the data and the domain matters. You can only succeed if you feel passionate for both the domain and the data. Now, in my case, I worked in the telecom sector as well as the finance sector. In both cases, I was not passionate about my data. The data and domain did not really do much for my motivation. More recently, however, I've been working on healthcare data. I see the data and know where it is being used. It is being used to save lives. I can empathize with this aspect. Suddenly, I start feeling a lot more motivated. So I think this is a very important factor. If you are in a position to do so, try to work in an area that you feel passionate about. Okay, moving on. As a data analyst, you will need to gather and clean data. Your data could sit in a database. This could be a relational or a non-relational database. The database could be on-premise or increasingly so in the cloud. Or your data could be in flat files. You may also need to scrape data from the web using web scraping tools like, say, Beautiful Soup. Or you may need to use APIs to access data. You may also need to build database objects such as tables, views, stored procedures, to store and process this data. You may also need to do performance optimization so that there's minimum latency in processing your data. At no point the data you obtain will be perfect. You will also need to clean it, and this is a big subject. You may have missing values in your data, or your data may contain invalid values, or you may need to modify values. So a lot goes on at this level. Some of the tools you may need at this level are knowledge of SQL, or structured query language to retrieve data from databases, knowledge of how to create database models, ER diagrams, relational schemas, star schemas. You will need to know spreadsheets where you can view and clean data. 
You may need to be good at regular expressions to find patterns in data. Python, a general programming language to do gosh so much. Python is a popular language in the data analysis world and it's easy to see why. You may also need to look at tools such as Alteryx to clean the data you get from source systems. You certainly have heard of the term big data, so the quantity of data also matters here. Are you processing a few hundred records, thousands, or millions, or billions? I hope this makes you realize that data cleaning is a time-consuming activity, but it is a critical one. Now at this stage you have your data, and your data is in a decent shape. The next thing you may wish to do as a data analyst is answer one or more questions about this data. These questions could be of two types, predictive or inferential. Let me explain. So say you are in the telecom industry and you have access to millions of customer records. Based on this information, you may wish to predict whether a customer will pay their bill on time or default. This information can be very valuable to the company, right? So this is an example of a prediction problem and you will solve it by building models. To be specific, you will build classification models. Many a time you also need to analyze your data inputs and infer certain things about the input data. So what rows of my data represent outliers or anomalies? Is there redundancy in my data? These are inferential questions. By knowing answers to these questions, you will get to know your data better and create more effective models. To be good at building data models, you will need to be familiar with various topics. Let me outline some of them. You will need to be comfortable with linear algebra. You will need calculus, probability and statistics, machine learning principles, and various libraries supporting the above. These libraries or tools are provided by programming languages, such as Octave, R, Python, or another language. Building robust data models is a great feeling and an extremely useful skill set to have. But as you can see, it requires a lot of learning and you just cannot stop. You have to keep learning and building and upskilling. Okay, now let's come to a couple more skill sets you would need as a data analyst. Now that you have your models and you use them to get valuable information, you would need to convey this information to the respective stakeholders. So these people could be customers, your managers, the CEO of a company, and so on. The language and visuals you use in communicating this data is important. And if this is not done properly, all your efforts may account to nothing. So you have to be a good communicator. You have to be able to explain your findings to both technical and non-technical people. This is very important. And one thing that can help you in this area is data visualization skills. And creating a good visual is something which is both an art and a science. You would need to master these skills. Should I use a bar chart or a stacked bar chart or a line chart? Should I use a dashboard or a storyboard? These are questions you will face. So knowledge of data visualization tools such as Tableau or Microsoft BI or, or ClickView or some other tool is very important. Make sure you know what tools are used in your dream company, for example, and upskill on those. So in conclusion, in this knowledge economy, one must keep on learning and collaborating and being interview ready. Consider having a LinkedIn profile if you don't have one and being constructively active on it. Keep learning and adding certifications to your portfolio. Look up courses on sites such as Udemy, Coursera, edX, Analytics, Vidya, and of course, LinkedIn, among others. Have a portfolio to show companies. This could be a GitHub profile or a Kaggle profile or a Tableau public profile for your visualizations. Increasingly, companies are asking for portfolios. Lastly, be interview ready. Regularly test your skills on sites such as HackerRank. Attend hackathons if you can. Try to spread your knowledge through a YouTube channel or Udemy course, for example. Your portfolio matters. So guys, these are but a few pointers to help you become a data analyst and keep enhancing your skills. These are not a complete list by any means, so if I've missed anything, please write down your thoughts in the comment section. I wish you the very best. Thanks a lot and bye for now.